Hello, <coughs> hello everyone. Back from Shadow Tower. Shadow Tower. Shadow Tower. <sighs> it is. You yeah, know, it's uh. One of those days. It's uh, December 26th, 2.27 p.m. UTC minus 5 Eastern Standard Time, Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Uh, here we go. Here we go, folks. Let me make this happen. I uh, <coughs> went through and made a little link. Shadow Tower so it gets off the ground much quicker. I'm gonna be hopefully, sorry about that guys, uh, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on my uh, dashboard in Twitch so in case anyone wants to talk. Select button thread. Alrighty. We're ready to go. Let's load our save state. So, when we last left our hero, <clears throat> we were having some issues. We had to use a feather to get out because I don't know where the hell I was. I had no idea how to get out. Are there two big gates here? No. It's just the one, and then you can go deeper into the false pit, which I think I did, and there's like a jumper. There's a bloop, bloop. These guys suck. Because they poison you or something. I don't know, maybe it's acid. Oh god, here's one. These fucks. They shoot these fucking gobs of yellow shit at you. <clears throat> I'll try to be more talkative this time. Uh... We'll see what happens. Oh yes, so I put the candle fuel into that item, this object. So that was a key item that I found in the mines. And I put it in this lantern lamp torch thing. Birds are hard, guys. Words are hard. And my health is not super high, but I'm going to try and fight this guy. And he's going to kill me. Oh god, you can barely dodge him. You really can. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, that was useless. As. I may have actually already been through these areas. This, the area I'm in right now, I have not played before, and it's very confusing. I've played it a little bit, but not much. So up here, I believe there's a jagged bridge, and it's a little dangerous. This is where I keep dying. I'm going to save my game. I'm going to check my equipment. Durability. The keenest bastard sword I bought with cunes from the mermaid. Oh, she looks like a mermaid. She has no legs. She has a flipper. And it also sounds like this uh, bridge is breaking around me, which is not good. I'm gonna try and dodge this dude's crap. No, I <sighs> okay, so the bridge is breaking as I run across it. If I go back, I will die. So I only have a limited room, limited amount of room here to maneuver around this Beetleborg buddy boy. Uh, he does a lot of damage, but 
No, and I'm dead. <sighs> I am dead. <clears throat> Save point is just right around the corner, but I'm saving a lot of time. I just save stating and I don't feel any shame for it whatsoever because this game will kill you without shame. Uh, okay, alright, yeah, don't hit me anymore, buddy. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. So I think they expect you to be very decisive here and not try and mess around with these guys. So let's try a decisive action. Let's wait till he. He does a swing, and we're going to walk right by him. Let's do a swing, and we're going to run by it. Oh, I think I'm cursed. Status poison. Okay. It's not as bad. Although, they both seem to be, you know, curable with one item. But these items are much more plentiful, the anti-venoms. Uh, 297 health. They want you to move quickly here. I think all of these are falling behind me. I see little gaps in the ground. And this might all be gone. Well, some of it is. I guess so you don't know which platform is going to fall. Well, I've not been here before. And I think it's time for this. Uh, if you haven't watched before, I've explained it before, but I'll re-explain it. The health potions, your health in general, is a currency in this game. You use health to repair your items, and you can repair, or you can trade items for health potions at two different shops. One repair shop and one health potion trader. Whoa. This sounds horrible. I'm going to save, or I'll walk into this. Oh, God. This is not what anyone wanted, but this is what we've got. And I think I should have run out there and not let them pin me in my little cage. Oh boy. These guys have got range too. Oh boy. Alright. Well, a little time, I'll come back and I'll see you later. This one plays on a trap. They're always a trap. Alright, like guards. Let's see how good these are. They're pretty similar. They have more defense, less balance, and they weigh 0.2 pounds more. And they also have one melody. I think it's a melody. There's weird attributes in this game. So let's go down. Melting, not melody. <laughs> Melting. Particle, purity, harmony, focus, spirit, soul. Uh, I don't think there's any indication in the game of what any of those do. But they do tell you the full name in equipment, though. Alright. Not look great. Oh man, I'm about to get hit real bad. Oh man. Oh man. These are some tough enemies. These guys are not playing around. So I've been very uh, painstaking to save as many of my health potions as possible, which is why I have 20 something health potions, which I still don't feel good about because that's basically your means of surviving. Uh, if you run out of health potions, you're in a lot of trouble. And you may have to trade away items that you would want to just repair with the health that you get from the health potions to get more health potions. And that's if you can find a shot without taking damage and dying. In other words, it's very easy to ruin your save in this game. What the heck is that sound? Whoa, it was what's hitting me. It's 
someone behind me too? Oh man, where am I? Oh, I got so lost running for these guys. just bad. Alright. Boy. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try and arrow this man to death. And before I do so, I'm going to use a Dorado's Ashes, which heals all of my equipped items. One durability on the bow, I believe, is one shot. Headshots, baby. Alright, what are we looking at here? You gave me some kind of scorpion in a bottle. Thanks, buddy. That's what I was looking for. Let's see what that is. That might be a great item. Anti-paralytic. Okay, that's not bad. It's going to have to be a really dangerous paralysis before I waste my one... And I'm just going to reload my save when I get paralyzed. That stuff is horrible. I wonder if it's plot related. The vaccines you had to use for plot stuff. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying about plot stuff. There were areas in the game that you specifically have to pass through that are poisonous or acidic. I guess I haven't even gone through the acid area yet. And the frame rate shoves in this area. You know, if you're going to chug anyway, buddy, how about I just torch it up? and see what's actually happening here. I know your tricks. You're rendering that crap anyway. I don't even want it. I can't see it. You're rendering the whole... the whole distance. Oh god. I have the bow out still. That's not gonna slice. Well, I hope you're enjoying this comedy of errors. The game is quite difficult, especially at what frame rate is this? That noise again! I'm horrified by that noise! Man, these guys are not playing around. I am in the bones of some kind of terrible creature. Oh god, what is that? Oh dear god, what is that? I can't even move. Oh my god, it's a boss type thing. <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm making progress, guys. That's what's important. I'm making progress. I'm gonna kill this stuff. lady. And I've got her number. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that hurts. Okay. That does hurt. Wait. Oh. oh. Health vision. Yes. She died very easily. But I did a lot of damage. I wonder if this sword is uh, super effective. She must be weak to slashing type. I think this sword is good to slashing. But she's not a, just a boss. Okay? She's just another enemy in this room. So, in some games like Dark Souls, in Dark Souls they extrapolate your movement speed at the moment that the projectile is fired, and they fire right there. Oops. I'm not even doing any of that. Okay. Well, that's wasting health pressure. I didn't totally waste it. Uh, in this game, they fire exactly at where you are when the projectiles fire. Which can get you killed if you're used to the Dark Souls method. Okay, alright. I'm not too worried about that health potion. I can deal with that. I need to 
really just like put that. I don't ever use the quick menu. The only thing I want to use that for is like a key. If I can try keys quickly. I guess it's, you can only do it from here. It's kind of weird. I don't know what the beast key is for. I think I've already used the other two keys. The jail key, or the jail, the iron key for... Yeah, another area nearby. I can't remember the names. They all blend together. me? Alright, we got another one of these. It's the brick. It's the brick! Oh man. It's eating up my keenest. Eating up my keenest. Okay. Um, this is eating up my keenest. I got a new ring. Balance ring of frost. I'll take it. Frozen horn. I bet this stuff is great. I should probably use an MP potion and try some of it. Alright, well, if Keenest ain't doing the job. Gosh, I gotta get back to our repair shop so badly. Let's broad him. Let's broad him. On the broad side. He wanted me. That's some kind of a cap. Magical. Hmm. I still don't know where one of those is, and I still have to kill enemies, which means I'm going to be burning through my Dorados. Which, I mean, what can you do? Keenus has a few strikes left, so let's get our Guardian back up. I mean, that's what these are here for, I would assume. to heal your stuff out because you can't find any of those damn things. It's gotta be me breathing, right? That's not the game trying to make, make fun of me for being scared. There's a lot of chests. I think I came in here. This is where I came in. This looks like where I came in. Okay. Walk right out. There's a million enemies. Chests on the back too. And then wall. Back two diagonals. Chests on the front two diagonals. And then there's one other entrance or exit. And I think it's at this big ass door. Let's see what happens. Alright. Just to mess with this. Oh man, I only got two. Oh, I got three. Well, let's see what happens. Do not, do not. Oh man, there's another one.
This is interesting. This guy's got a big old crystal on his face. Right on his chest. Whoa. Alright, he's got range. He's got everything a mother can want. Okay. Let's go to Keenest and let's let's feed this again. Feather, so you can just leave if you can kill one. I don't even know what that is. It might be an amulet, or it might be an evil eye. Stops enemy movement. I have no idea how that would even work. Well, okay. That is a soul pod, I believe, which I want to use immediately. So the strength increases your... Oh, no! I need to just kill this guy now. Stop messing around. This is horrible. I guess I'll use my last one... Maybe if I just stay close to him, he's not going to hurt me. Oh. So scary. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I don't have paralysis. Vaccine. Dang it. This is going to be my death, or just, it's not good. I think I can take one more. Oh, man. Okay. And we're away. friend. Don't, don't paralyze me anymore. Come on, buddy. Oh, my God. My friend. Why won't you die? No paralyze. No paralyze. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, my goodness. I am Apollos, one of the seven knights of the great King Edward. We came in search of the crown, but they betrayed me and left me for dead. I was turned to the darkness and captured by the will of King Edward. But now at last I am freed from my torment. Alrighty. Do these chests have anything in them? This is a troll. Oh, what is that? What is that? Temporarily freeze magic. Does that mean it makes it free? There's a longer description if you go to equip info as well. Oh. Oh. What kind of shop is this? A 
It's not a shop. Oh, the feathers are... Oh, okay, I see. Hostile rock. Is there anything on your throne, buddy? convincing throne room. Looks very good. These doors also feel very heavy. There's six chests in this area. If the key, one of the keys I have, would have been useful on those locked chests in another area. Should have tried it. This is really very really good. I'm gonna get this guy over land. So if he drops something, I can get it. Oh, 
Ooh. I won't be able to run by him again, I don't think. But he looks like he's clearly online now. Oh, he gets his cune, yes! God, I hope we find some shit soon. It's one left around us. One left, one left. It's not good. I'm guessing I needed to light that candle. I needed to light this to actually fight that guy. My torch is no longer lit, but the draw distance in this area is much better than it was. I wonder if it just becomes brighter when you beat the boss. It was all in blue before. Is this where I just went? I think you could try falling off, but you might just die. I'm regenerating MP, I think, on maybe on taking damage or something. I don't know. But that's awesome. I can shoot my spells now. So one of the spells requires you to press circle and square at the same time. Kind of a terrible decision. But I'm just going to claw it and I don't want to change my controls. So for this run, I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five different save slots. So if I get really screwed, I can always go back. But they're getting really far between now, these save points. Because there's just not very many of them, it, it appears, in this area. Alright. Progress does continue. What else is this? This is a teleport to an area where you're just immediately getting hurt, I think. Or maybe this is back where I came from. Ah, it's just an immediate pit. Well, I'm gonna jump in the immediate pit. I've probably been here before in this forgotten region, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've almost certainly been here before. No respawns from the green slimes. These doors should be open. And I should have cleared out every monster. Oh yes, I left my run and someone said this was a secret wall. And lo and behold it is. Oh the acid slimes. And the green slimes. Wait, but if I'm back here, I have access to all the old shops again. Oh, they expected you to come here first. These guys have got what I need. What I needed for that fight. Oh, man. Beautiful. Oh, this game is so smart. now. Actually, you know what? I could have come here at any time. 
This is just a hidden wall off the shoot room. This was always just... Oh, how did I miss that? I just unloaded a 60. This is fabulous. This is so good, because now I can go to earlier places. I understand this area very well. So the fact that I can now come back here... I guess it's daunting. You probably feel really disappointed the first time you do that, because you're like, oh no. But you might not, because you, you know that there are shops that can help you here. This is back to the solitary region. The hidden region. Which is right next to the solitary region. I also saw... I was, so I was looking at maps of the early game. I've done this before. There's this angel fire site that's somehow still up. That has maps for this game. It's like the only maps I've ever been able to find on the internet for this game. Um, and I swear I've looked for this for so long because it's obvious that there's something that leads out here when you see that, but apparently it's just right here. But, oh, and it just lets you hop up. Okay. But somehow I've never actually been in this before. I guess because it, it was a little too obvious. I kept looking around the corner for a door. Oh, no! God, what is that? Give me your soul pod. Oh man, I'm being just so greedy. I wanted the soul pod. I use the soul pod. Uh, I'm really bad at using that stuff. I should probably just turn it off. I thought. Alright, so I can fall in there too. But there's definitely no way of getting around him. You've got to fight him. You can never say no to those. My MP keeps climbing. It must be because of the balance ring of frost. It's the only thing I can think of. Man, this has a ton of items in here. Let's take four items. I really like about from software is when you do go above and beyond you find cool stuff they, they reward you for exploring alright that's beautiful that was beautiful this might be to a save point careful now. I've got to get all the way back there. And I have no... God, I had to go through that entire mine. The mine to get there is so vast and disorienting. Now, I've never looked up a map for any of the later areas. I've only looked at maps for this area, the solitary, and the... Uh, one or two of the caverns. <clears throat> wow, this debris stays. That's really cool. I think there's another secret in this room, maybe. I'm just remembering the map, thinking about it in my mind's eye. Cool. 
cool stuff that you only see if you are really wanting to explore. Really cool stuff. You can only kind of just imagine what this what this is intended to represent. Two plates and a pitcher and a dead body. Long dead body. With I guess this is a bonfire, right? Somebody was eating here. Yeah. They're trapped in the wall. One of the rooms in this is the is a torture room. In fact it's right through there. Oh man. Something came out of his chest alien style. not a door this is just uh but yeah the torture chamber is right there you got a rack you got something to torture you on it's not good not what you want to see anyway so that's some stuff i had missed but i think that's it just want you to fucking Duke Nukem it and mash every wall. That's what I used to do at least when I was playing Duke Nukem way back in the day. My dad's Mac computer. This... What is this? It's a cune shop. Okay. So these seem really valuable, but they're also expensive. Oh, I do want this broadsword for seven, but I wonder what the bracelet movement does. Dorados are three. Well, pretty good. But I do kind of want the sword. I guess I'll wait. We'll have to see. I don't think that's even that good of a sword anymore, but I want it because I can get back to. Well, I know I can now. Yeah. It's just nice to have extra weapons when you don't know when you'll find another repair shop. But I have, I do have quite a few now. Some of them are just weak, and they're not going to be much help against these really high health enemies. Granted, I do more damage, but still. Does anyone respawn in here? A spider does. And got me. But he's, uh, it's interesting, they don't do any damage anymore because I'm all armored out. One of my Dorados and stuff ended up with full. They put everything at full. Wait, how is that even possible? Some of these, the fiery full helm was low on durability. How could it possibly be full? Speed plus 39. Hmm. This one seems to be generally better. Yes. 
It's really hard to see. Amulet of Guardian. Alright. Let's stop screwing around and actually look. Increases my HP by quite a bit, like 118. But I think this is maybe better. It also adds attack. This one adds 50 magic points. Well, I'm pretty sure the magic one is actually just better. Yeah, it's gotta be the firing. I just think the other one is not gonna be as good. Let's, let's get rid of this stuff. I'll just put one in there when I need it. Well, I went the wrong way. Got a lot of creatures in my book. I'm filling up my book. That thing creeped me out. Hey, that's very similar to those butterflies in Dark Souls 2. one of the rulers. They give you very detailed information. Ah, uh, so they explain everything. They, they tell you that it's Jiren after you kill him. Well, I guess I'll check how many I have total. Fifty-nine of a hundred and fifty. Jeez. These creatures are so cool. Now, why is that necessary? Where is this crying coming from? Why would that even happen?
take my can, don't mind if I do. Honestly, don't remember where this takes you. Sounded like something broke, but apparently nothing did. respawn and some don't. It makes sense. You know what? I'm just gonna erase these. I'm not worried about them anymore. That was that was my first attempt at streaming the game. And I didn't have any I wasn't doing any commentary. I figured maybe I would eventually resume, but no, this one went uh, very well. So we can just keep this one and get rid of the other one. It's nice to have another save though, because it's the beginning of the game is pretty difficult. If you screw up, you use too much of your stuff, and you don't get to the repair place before all your stuff starts breaking, you kind of have to start over. The game was not um, lagging. We weren't dropping frames there. What actually happens is you're bobbing ahead and like bumps into the ceiling and it stops you from moving for a second. That's where I met the fat mole or whatever. So the solitary is where you start, right after Shadow Tower. But Shadow Tower links all the areas. That's just the central void. So it's right near a save point, though. So if you do drop down, that may be the first save point you find. Spiders respawned last time I checked. Might see if they do again. Oh. 
also like how this door is different, just to kind of let you know that uh, this is the weird one. But funnily enough, you can't actually see it that it's different because you only see two doors to begin with. So both are equally different to you. Okay, so I don't think this is where I want to go, but I'm going to check it real quick. Forgotten, I think it's the jail. Yeah, you could save, and this guy trades stuff, so I'll trade for some HP potions. I have a bunch of stuff that's worthless to me now. It's either broken or I'm not going to repair it. It's not worth it. Uh, some of these weapons I could probably do it. I'm scared to, to trade weapons though, for the most part. I like some of this stuff. Like this wooden glove, I don't think I'm going to repair it. I'm not going to use it. It's way too uh, low durability. This leather glove. I'm only going to keep so much stuff. This stuff is worthless. The hard boots. To, like, I don't need these leather boots. I got a million shields. I don't need all these shields. Hmm. I'll keep the grate in the tower and the fiery, you know, just, you know, that one's kind of cool too. I mean, there's just too many. I'm not going to use those other ones. Like this, see, this is five shields in addition to... Well, I don't even use a shield anymore. There's no way I'm going to use all these things. That's fine. I'll keep those. Cheap to repair though. This is fine. I don't want to trade weapons. Alright, that was worthwhile. Let's make a little save. Actually, let's go and really save. Oh, no. don't worry about it. Let's just fall. What a beautiful game. Alright, so this, you want to go straight, I believe, here, and then just hang left. This is like the most important shop in the game. And you just gotta like, yeah, I think it's just right here. But if you don't go in here like I did last time I was here, you get screwed. shields. I don't even use a shield right now. This is what I use, the plate mail of curing. That's a lot to repair that, to repair mine. I think I wear the magical helm. The 
bow for sure needs to be repaired. That is an incredibly valuable item. Keenest, one of my best. The Great Sword, also one of my best. If not the best. Guardian Rod, a very good sword. Rapier costs 80. Metal Glove. Uh, I should probably just trade that. Anything that I don't really need after they get repaired, I mean, I might as well repair it. Oh, this. Low on health, there's nothing else to do with it. Thirty-six healing potions. Good grief! I might as well just repair everything. But we'll be, let's be selective. Maybe I'll just trade for some more healing potions. Get that feedback loop. So the next one I would repair is the bastard sword. It's expensive to repair though, because it got broken. Plate mail, so expensive to repair. Should not have let that get broken. These are very inexpensive to repair. The ones that aren't totally broken. Even if I repair some of the ones that I end up trading, it's not that bad. Because, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it's not min-maxing, but because I'm going to get more HP back from the HP potion than any of these costs to repair. I don't think I need any shields. I think I'll just get start getting rid of all the shields. The plate mail does give me extra HP. And I think I want these weapons. The scale mail, I don't know about that one. The leg guard, I also don't know about that one. the shields how they are for now, I guess. Well, might as well use the rest of the HP I have here. This is not going to let me do anything else now. Like 90. Six left. I guess I should repair the tower. I'm at 724. That's fine. I think I'm trading that other stuff anyway. Now, I could.
could just kind of cheat and use my feather and get back to the save point in the uh, the trader. I feel like I should probably trade for some MP potions, but I'm starting to just get free MP now, which is pretty nice. There is an MP trader in here. some frame rate badness. The lamp just makes such a huge difference in the game. Save point MP potion trader. Probably better to get some MP potions at this point. I have a lot of HP potions already. Oh, I see. I'm already wearing plate. I'm so stupid. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to throw all this shit away. There's no reason for this. show what I have currently equipped. That's why I don't see great sword here. pretty good about that. Now I have lots of abilities to use MP. Yeah, 10 magic potions. That's a lot of magic potions. You don't need a ton of MP to do an action. Cast a spell. More save spots now, so that's good too. I can go back further if I need to. Sometimes you just really gotta go back. <laughs> it's not good. Alrighty. 32 health. I like it.
there's a secret area in here where I believe I already went through it. Yeah, this is the repair guy again. I don't need any more repairs. Gotta find another HP trader. Man, this lamp is still going strong. It's really awesome. I don't think there's anything left to do in here. But, you know, I can pop a pill and make it through, make my way through this with the lamp on, that's not bad. There is another way to go once you're back here. any hidden areas. I can hear something. This poison vaccine does not last forever. Oh, this is to the mine. Okay. What does this guy trade? Is this an HP potion man? You look healthy. That's a good thing. Sweet.
good stuff. Ah, I see. I wasn't even wearing the plate. Where the plate? Where they just wear that plate? That's all I have. That's all I need. The other leg guard I can probably just get rid of. I don't like what I've got here. I've got good weapons. I don't think I'll even be able to use a shield. Yeah, way too much. But whatever. I'm not worried about that. anymore. I, I, it might be Keenest, it might be uh, Guardian, it might be great. I kept the Magical, but I can get rid of that as well. I think I just need my Fiery Full Home, my Plate now of Curing. My Light Guard's fine. I have another one I can sell. This is going so well. It did reduce my HP slightly, but I don't think that's a big deal. Maybe I'll keep that. Oh, I see. I know why I reduced my HP slightly. Just keep the tower shield in case I need it, but I don't think I will. Yeah, it wasn't the scale now that did it. I'll get rid of that too. Alright, just remember not to save over that same one. In case I need some of that stuff, I have to reload the save. Okay, so this is not a secret wall, right? Man, you gotta have a torch in the mines. This is way too confusing. Yeah, you gotta drop down early. And then try to remember where you drop down. So you know where your starting point is. Alright, it's at that railroad. The upturned edge of the railroad. Double back around the opening rooms on my left. And I can move away from it around the U-turn. Back behind the starting room. There's nothing. Moving still away from it. There's the hole, which is where you do need to go. I don't think there's anything else you can do. It's, there's no enemies. And I got lucky. Alright, so you drop down here. I kind of split between two rooms. One of them is slow shot. Okay, so you probably want you to check this way. I think this is where the crystal is. Crystal's the other way, I think. Don't go there. Oh, there's a mandrake left. How oh, are you still alive, buddy? You have a ring? What the heck, man? Where did you come from, buddy?
Dark Ring? MP Drain 7, HP Drain 3, Master Drain 7. You really want Poison and Dark, I think. I don't know what the balance Ring of Frost is. MP Drain, Status Recovery. Whoa, this is really good. HP drain with the poison ring though is pretty nice. This gives you super MP drain. Let's throw it out. Why is it not working? Oh, there's no magic equipped. I'm Holy Spirits on my right. Frozen Horn on my left. Let's try our left. Alright. Oh man, that looks good. Let's see how this suit does. I bet there's no enemies though. This MP drain is going to make it trivial to get some of this MP back. Well, I'm back. I'm back where I need to be, and I've got all the equipment and everything. This is fantastic. Got everything is repaired. We are good to go. That's what I just did. Maybe. That's yeah, that's what takes you back if you really want to go back. This lamp lasts forever. So this is where you come in. This goes to the fire world. The other way leads to the boss. Which the fire world I guess has a door behind it or something? There's more than one place to go in here. Oh, you can drop. I forgot about that. And there's two, three options on the other end. I don't think you need to drop, though. I think this can loop around. I think this is the fire world, which I... I definitely killed a bunch of people in here. I don't know if I completed it.
great sword just slaughters people. One shots everybody. Um did I even go here? There's living enemies. I think this is the loot. In case you don't want to drop down, you don't have to. Also means you can get back up. Where's my MP? Where's my life steal? Oh, I left the wrong. The, mm. So this steals MP, but I'm not getting MP stealing. I think I want the MP stealing. Uh, the HP stealing, rather. Um, this steals MP, but I don't. I'm not using a lot of MP right now. This does a million things. So I need to use the fire thing to get through there. Is this where I started? No. A traitor and a safe point. Ooh, I don't want to save this one. Although this is now my new game. I don't really care about the other one anymore. I've started this game so many times. the early areas very well, but then when I get to this point, I don't know anything. Right when you become pretty powerful, start getting some really good weapons. And some really powerful magic, which I haven't been using. What did you trade for? This is an MP potion guy. Keenest longsword. I must have just picked that up. Hmm. I wonder how good it is. If it's not very good, I might just trade it. totally different than the fiery. It's way more slash damage. It doesn't seem to be something I would use. I'm just going to get rid of it for an MP potion.
Whoa, hey buddy. I decided to join the party uh, a little late. That's okay. There's plenty. Plenty of love. Go around. Okay. I need the fire world thing. This is hopefully where I came in. What the heck, guys? is still burning. So much forever. You walk straight ahead. You get the safe point. When you walk to your right, you get nothing. Unless there's a secret door. So all you can do is go through the firewall. You use your special item. Too bad at all. Some kind of emulator. I don't know. Here go, my boy. Take my shield. Still draining MP. I wonder if it's the sword or something. What is this? Definitely don't want the deadly broadsword. The fortune great hound does seem good. I bet the bracelet's good too. Sacred Feather, I don't have a lot of those, but those are kind of a crutch. And I'm getting strong enough now that it's not totally necessary. Oh man, there is some weird collision on that shit. Okay, this is pretty good. It's a nice little cune shot that means I know our HP, MP, Everything is on this level without having to go back. Oh, this is where I came from. I always like to find out where I came from. Oh no, it's somewhere new. Wait, no, it's not. I have no idea if that's new or not. Hopefully, this firestone lasts quite a while.
clouds are very small. Gives you an opportunity to get away. What are we getting here? Just a super hot plate, man, for the hot ones. Let's check a quick. A creep. A creep. I got some shields too. A gothic shield. But I still can't equip it. No. Nope. It's way too heavy for me. Why do I have nothing equipped in my right hand again? I want to stick with the grate because it does insane damage. Three thousand freaking health. Max health now. Don't mind if I take a moment to read this, do you? Fiery and fierce. damage though, even with all my armor and stuff. There's one more of them, I think, over there. Oh god, what did I do? I walked into some kind of a portal, or a cutscene. Good god. I don't mind if I do. I'll probably need that momentarily. Let's walk back through this portal first. for. I'm trying to walk around it. Fiery plate mail. You know that's the best one. You know that's the best one, but I don't have. Uh, I can throw some Dorados on it. 6% durability. Alright, I'll put it on for now. Does everything hurt? Except for my rings. Alright, I'll throw Dorados on it. Checking on. Is that something else? Composure. Amulet of movement. Alright. 
right, you win. I will check your actual descriptions. From would later learn that this is not the best way to do this, but at this time they still thought it was a good idea. Poison attack. Enable swift movement. That gives you fire attack. Increases magic spells recovery. Oh, that's pretty strong if you're using a lot of spells, which at this point I'm not, but let's put this one on. Swift movement, huh? What does that mean? Does that mean I run now? Am I moving faster? Whoa! That is not cool! that to come out, did you? A little bit of the steep stairwells. Steep stairwells. Oh, again with the danger. Is this a secret door? Or did you just find that? Oh my gosh, dude. You're not fun to be around. No one likes you. Insane damage to him. Wow. Dorado seems to do a lot for some of these. That gave me a lot of extra. Man. Alright. Those enemies are hard. They will hit you long, long range. Oh, my fire thing is worn off. Ah, uh, the fire stone. Well, my lamp burns on. Oh, you cannot defeat the Braxis. He's a vicious monster. Oh, very arrogant, too. Oh. Okay. Um. some kind of special property. Holy properties. Holy defense. Man, that's going to come in handy, I think, at some point. I don't know which enemies are going to do holy. Maybe it's this guy that I'm about to fight, Abraxas. Well, that looks not suspicious at all. Wanna talk to me, buddy? Wanna talk about it? Or can I hit you? I shouldn't hit you, should I? I'm just trying to be nice. You're gonna come alive and hit me, aren't you? It's like your whole, your whole shtick. You 
very well rendered, my boy. This was the right decision. A save point. And a shop of some sort. Maybe HP potion here, or maybe MP again. Seems almost unnecessary to have the MP potions. First of all, you can't trade MP for repairs. And second of all, you get MP steel. That is really effective. It gives you so much mana. I just seem to have an unlimited amount, although I guess I'm not technically a spellcaster, but my spells do ridiculous amounts of damage nonetheless. Well, I've been playing for about 1 hour and 49 minutes. I am going to take a break, but we'll, I'll probably get back on later tonight. But thanks for hanging out.